Koine Greek, Wikipedia article audio. Koine Greek US English slash KEENE slash slash EKEENE slash or slash KIEENIE slash, also known as Alexandrian dialect, common Attic, Hellenistic or Biblical Greek was the common superregional form of Greek spoken and written during Hellenistic and Roman antiquity and the early Byzantine era, or late antiquity. It evolved from the spread of Greek following the conquests of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC, and served as the lingua franca of much of the Mediterranean region and the Middle East during the following centuries. It was based mainly on Attic and related Ionic speech forms with various admixtures brought about through dialect leveling with other varieties. Koine Greek included styles ranging from more conservative literary forms to the spoken vernaculars of the time. As the dominant language of the Byzantine Empire, it developed further into medieval Greek, which then turned into modern Greek. Koine remained the court language of the Byzantine Empire until its ending in 1453, while medieval and eventually modern Greek were everyday languages. Name Origins and History Literary Koine was the medium of much of post-classical Greek literary and scholarly writing, such as the works of Plutarch and Polybius. Koine is also the language of the Christian New Testament, of the Septuagint, and of most early Christian theological writing by the Church Fathers. In this context, Koine Greek is also known as Biblical, New Testament, Ecclesiastical or Patristic Greek. It continues to be used as the liturgical language of services in the Greek Orthodox Church. The English name Koine derives from the Koine Greek A 1 4 I degree I I superscript 1 I 1 half A 1 half I I superscript 1 I I I I degree I I I, the common dialect. The Greek word Koina itself means common. The word is pronounced slash K E E N E E slash, slash E K E E N E E slash or slash K I E E N I E slash in US English and slash E K E E N I E slash in UK English. The pronunciation of the word in Koine itself gradually changed from to. In Greek it has been referred to as Greek, I I I I I one half I superscript one I superscript one I degree I registered trademark I superscript one I one half I registered trademark. Hellenistic Koine copyright, in the sense of Hellenistic superregional language. The term was applied in several different senses by ancient scholars. A school of scholars such as Apollonius Discalus and Elias Heridianus maintained the term Koine to refer to the Proto Greek language, while others used it to refer to any vernacular form of Greek speech which differed somewhat from the literary language. When Koine Greek became a language of literature by the 1st century BC, some people distinguished it into two forms, written as the literary post-classical form, and vernacular as the day-to-day -day spoken form. Others chose to refer to Koine as the Alexandrian dialect or the dialect of Alexandria, or even the universal dialect of its time. The former was often used by modern classicists. Koine Greek arose as a common dialect within the armies of Alexander the Great. Under the leadership of Macedon, their newly formed common variety was spoken from the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt to the Seleucid Empire of Mesopotamia. It replaced existing ancient Greek dialects with an everyday form that people anywhere could understand. Though elements of Koine Greek took shape in Classical Greece, the post-classical period of Greek is defined as beginning with the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, when cultures under Greek sway in turn began to influence the language. The passage into the next period, known as Medieval Greek, 
dates from the foundation of Constantinople by Constantine the Great in 330. The post-classical period of Greek thus refers to the creation and evolution of Koine Greek throughout the entire Hellenistic and Roman eras of history until the start of the Middle Ages. Sources the linguistic roots of the common Greek dialect had been unclear since ancient times. During the Hellenistic period, most scholars thought of Koine as the result of the mixture of the four main ancient Greek dialects, A1 fourth A1 fourth I degree I A I one half I I I I I I I per thousand I one half, I one half I A plus or minus. This view was supported in the early 20th century by Paul Kretschmer in his book Die Entstehung der Koine, while Ulrich von Wilamo at Smolenderf and Antoine Millet, based on the intense ionic elements of the Koine A euro such as instead of I I and I instead of I I A euro considered Koine to be a simplified form of ionic. The view accepted by most scholars today was given by the Greek linguist Georgios Hatsidakis, who showed that, despite the composition of the four, the stable nucleus of Koine Greek is Attic. In other words, Koine Greek can be regarded as Attic with the admixture of elements especially from Ionic, but also from other dialects. The degree of importance of the non-Attic linguistic elements on Koine can vary depending on the region of the Hellenistic world. Types In that respect, the varieties of Koine spoken in the Ionian colonies of Anatolia would have more intense Ionic Greek characteristics than others and those of Laconia and Cyprus would preserve some Doric and Arcato-Cypriot characteristics, respectively. The literary koine of the Hellenistic age resembles Attic in such a degree that it is often mentioned as common Attic. The first scholars who studied koine, both in Alexandrian and contemporary times, were classicists whose prototype had been the literary Attic Greek of the classical period and frowned upon any other variety of ancient Greek. Koine Greek was therefore considered a decayed form of Greek which was not worthy of attention. The reconsideration on the historical and linguistic importance of Koine Greek began only in the early 19th century, where renowned scholars conducted a series of studies on the evolution of Koine throughout the entire Hellenistic period and Roman Empire. The sources used on the studies of Koine have been numerous and of unequal reliability. The most significant ones are the inscriptions of the post-classical periods and the papyri, for being two kinds of texts which have authentic content and can be studied directly. Biblical Koine Other significant sources are the Septuagint, the somewhat literal Greek translation of the Old Testament, and the Greek New Testament. The teaching of the Testaments was aimed at the most common people, and for that reason they use the most popular language of the era. Septuagint Greek Information can also be derived from some Atticist scholars of the Hellenistic and Roman periods, who, in order to fight the evolution of the language, published works which compared the correct Attic against the wrong Koine by citing examples. For example, Phrynichus Arabius during the 2nd century AD wrote, New Testament Greek I I plus or minus I I superscript 1 plus or minus I A 1 half I I A 1 half I I A I 1 half A 1 fourth I I I plus or minus I I per thousand I 1 half I A 1 fourth I euro I I 1 half A 1 fourth euro I I A 1 half degree I superscript 2 I plus or minus I I I superscript 1 I plus or minus A 1 fourth cent I superscript 2 I plus or minus superscript 1 I I I dot Basilissa none of the ancients said, but Basileia or Basilis. I I superscript 1 I per thousand I I I plus or minus A 1 fourth I I I per thousand I A 1 fourth euro I I O E I degree I superscript 1 I 1 fourth I I 1 half, 
a one fourth euro i one half i i plus or minus a one half i i a i a one half superscript two i euro i i i i one fourth i i plus or minus i one half a one fourth i i a i dot diarrhea is extremely disreputable instead you will say prothesmia patristic greek I I I one half I I I I I one fourth A one half I I I superscript three I A one fourth euro I I A one half degree A one fourth I degree I I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I I superscript one A one half degree I euro I plus or minus I one half I I O E I dot. Do not say pantote, but hecastote and dia pantos. Other sources can be based on random findings such as inscriptions on vases written by popular painters, mistakes made by Atticists due to their imperfect knowledge of Attic Greek or even some surviving Greco-Latin glossaries of the Roman period, e.g. Plus or minus I I registered trademark I one fourth I I I I one half, A one fourth I I I I, Bono di, Venisti, Good day. You came? A one fourth A one half degree I one half I I I I I superscript one I A one fourth I I A one half superscript two I one fourth I I A one fourth I one fourth A I one half S I vis Vani Mecum If you want, come with us I I A Ubi Where Differences between Attic and Koine Greek I I A one half I I I I I I one half A one fourth I one fourth I I I I I I one half I I I I degree I superscript one I I one half Adamicum nostrum Lucium to our friend Lucius. Differences in grammar. I I I superscript three A one half degree I A one fourth I I I superscript one quid enim habet indeed what does he have. What is it with him? The Septuagint, a 3rd century BC Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible and texts not included in the Hebrew Bible, the Greek New Testament, compiled originally in Greek. A one fourth I I I per thousand I A dot, E grotate, he's sick. Finally, a very important source of information on the ancient Koine is the modern Greek language with all its dialects and its own Koine form, which have preserved some of the ancient language's oral linguistic details which the written tradition has lost. For example, Pontic and Cappadocian Greek preserved the ancient pronunciation of I as I, while the Tsikonian language preserved the long I plus or minus instead of I and the other local characteristics of Doric Greek. The ancient distinction between long and short vowels was gradually lost, and from the 2nd century BC all vowels were isochronic, from the 2nd century BC, the ancient Greek pitch accent was replaced with a stress accent, silosis, loss of rough breathing, Slash H slash. Rough breathing had already been lost in the Ionic Greek varieties of Anatolia and the Aeolic Greek of Lesbos, A three fourth plus or minus I, A, A superscript three slash A E I E E I O E I slash were simplified to A three fourth plus or minus I, I per thousand slash A E E E O E slash dot. The diphthongs I plus or minus I superscript one. I I superscript 1, and I I superscript 1 became monophthongs. I plus or minus I superscript 1, which had already been pronounced as slash e slash by the Boeotians since the 4th century BC and written I, became in Koine, 2, first a long vowel slash e slash and then, with the loss of distinctive vowel length and openness distinction slash e slash, merging with I. The diphthong I I superscript 1 had already merged with I superscript 1 in the 5th century BC in Argos, and by the 4th century BC in Corinth, and it acquired this pronunciation also in Koine. The diphthong I I superscript 1 fronted to slash Y slash, merging with I. The diphthong I, 
I superscript 1 came to be pronounced, but eventually lost its final element and also merged with I. The diphthong I I, had been already raised to slash U slash in the 6th century BC, and remains so in modern Greek, the diphthongs I plus or minus I, and I I, came to be pronounced, but are partly assimilated to before the voiceless consonants I, I degree, I three fourth, I euro, I, 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 and I dot, simple vowels mostly preserved their ancient pronunciations. I slash E slash was raised and merged with I superscript 1. In the 10th century AD, I, slash I I superscript 1 slash Y slash unrounded to merge with I superscript 1. These changes are known as ioticism. The consonants also preserved their ancient pronunciations to a great extent, except I superscript 2, I superscript 3, I, 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 I and I. I, 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 which were originally pronounced slash bed slash, became the fricative slash v slash, slash e pound slash, slash a degree slash, which they still are today except when preceded by a nasal consonant, in that case, they retain their ancient pronunciations, a one-fourth i one-half i i i plus or minus i i i one-half i i i plus or minus i, a one-fourth i superscript three i superscript three i i i i i i superscript three i superscript three i i i i. The latter three, which were initially pronounced as aspirates, developed into the fricative slash f slash, slash i slash, and slash x slash. Finally i, which is still metrically categorized as a double consonant with i three-fourth and i because it may have initially been pronounced as or i, later acquired its modern day value of slash z slash. Dialects from the southern part of the Greek-speaking regions preserve the pronunciation of the double similar consonants, while others pronounce in many words I, as I I, or preserve ancient double forms. Linguistic phenomena like the above imply that those characteristics survived within Koine, which in turn had countless variations in the Greek-speaking world. Phonology New Testament Greek Phonology Sample Koine Texts Sample 1 A Euro A Roman Decree Biblical Koine refers to the varieties of Koine Greek used in Bible translations into Greek and related texts. Its main sources are There has been some debate to what degree Biblical Greek represents the mainstream of contemporary spoken Koine and to what extent it contains specifically Semitic substratum features. These could have been induced either through the practice of translating closely from Biblical Hebrew or Aramaic originals, or through the influence of the regional non-standard Greek spoken by originally Aramaic-speaking Jews. Some of the features discussed in this context are the Septuagint's normative absence of the particles I one-fourth I I one-half and I I, and the use of A one-fourth I superscript three I I one-half I I I to denote it came to pass. Some features of Biblical Greek which are thought to have originally been non-standard elements eventually found their way into the main of the Greek language. The Greek of the New Testament is less distinctively Semitic than that of the Septuagint because it is largely a de novo composition in Greek, not primarily a translation from Hebrew and Aramaic. The term patristic Greek is sometimes used for the Greek written by the Greek Church Fathers, the early Christian theologians in late antiquity. Christian writers in the earliest time tended to use a simple register of koina copyright, relatively close to the spoken language of their time, following the model of the Bible. After the 4th century, when Christianity became the state church of the Roman Empire, more learned registers of koina copyright also came to be used. 
The study of all sources from the 6th centuries which are symbolically covered by Koine reveals linguistic changes from ancient Greek on elements of the spoken language including, grammar, word formation, vocabulary and phonology. Most new forms start off as rare and gradually become more frequent until they are established. As most of the changes between modern and ancient Greek were introduced via Koine, Koine is largely familiar and at least partly intelligible to most writers and speakers of modern Greek. Sample 2 A Euro Greek New Testament during the period generally designated as Koine Greek a great deal of phonological change occurred. At the start of the period pronunciation was virtually identical to ancient Greek phonology, whereas in the end it had much more in common with modern Greek phonology. The three most significant changes were the loss of vowel length distinction, the replacement of the pitch accent system by a stress accent system, and the monophthongization of several diphthongs. The Koine Greek in the table represents a reconstruction of New Testament Koine Greek, deriving to some degree from the dialects spoken in Judea and Galilee during the first century and similar to the dialects spoken in Alexandria, Egypt. The realizations of certain phonemes differ from the more standard Attic dialect of Koine. Notes Note that I superscript 3 has spirantized, with palatal allophone before front vowels and applosive allophone after nasals, while I superscript 2 is beginning to develop a fricative articulation intervocalically. I, I, and I still preserve their ancient aspirated plosive values, while the unis pirated stops I euro, I, I degree have perhaps begun to develop voiced allophones after nasals. Initial aspiration has also likely become an optional sound for many speakers of the popular variety. Monophthongization and the loss of vowel timing distinctions are carried through, but there is still a distinction between the four front vowels slash e slash, slash e i slash, slash i slash, and slash y slash. The following texts show differences from Attic Greek in all aspects a Euro grammar, morphology, vocabulary, and can be inferred to show differences in phonology. The following comments illustrate the phonological development within the period of Koine. The phonetic transcriptions are tentative, and are intended to illustrate two different stages in the reconstructed development an early conservative variety still relatively close to classical Attic, and a somewhat later, more progressive variety approaching modern Greek in some respects. The following excerpt, from a decree of the Roman Senate to the town of this Thisbe in Boeotia in 170 BC, is rendered in a reconstructed pronunciation representing a hypothetical conservative variety of mainland Greek koina copyright in the early Roman period. The transcription shows raising of I to slash E E slash, partial raising of A and I I superscript 1 to slash I E slash, retention of pitch accent, and retention of word initial slash H slash. I euro I I A one half A one half I one half I I superscript one A I I I O E I superscript three I I I A one fourth I euro I I superscript one I registered trademark plus or minus I one half I I A I euro I I A one half I A I one half I degree I plus or minus I A three fourth I plus or minus A one half I A one half degree I I euro I I plus or minus I superscript three I one fourth I I I per thousand I one half I A one fourth I I superscript one I one half I I A one fourth I one half I A I I superscript one I I A three fourth superscript three I A A one fourth I one fourth I I I I A three fourth superscript three A one fourth I one half I I one fourth I I superscript one I one half I plus or minus I one half A one half 
I euro I per thousand I I plus or minus A one half I I A I I I I A superscript one I one half A one fourth I I A one half degree I degree I plus or minus I A three fourth I plus or minus A one half I I A one half degree I I euro I I I superscript three I one fourth I plus or minus I I plus or minus A one fourth I three fourth I I superscript three I registered trademark per thousand I one half I I plus or minus I superscript one one, I euro I I A one half I I I I I I I I A I euro I I I superscript three I one fourth I plus or minus I I I I A one half I I per thousand I A one fourth I I I three fourth I I one half A A one half I euro I per thousand I superscript one I one half I I I I O E I plus or minus I I one half I superscript one I I I I plus or minus I I I superscript three A one half I I A I one half A one fourth I degree I A I I one half I degree I I registered trademark I I I I I one half I I A one fourth euro I euro I I I I three fourth A I A one fourth superscript three A one fourth I one half I plus or minus A one half I A A one fourth I degree I A I one half I I I one fourth I I per thousand I one half I euro I I plus or minus I I I per thousand I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I A I A one fourth degree I I I plus or minus I I euro I I I per thousand I I I plus or minus I I one half I per thousand I one half I I plus or minus I superscript one dot. Concerning those matters about which the citizens of this be made representations. Concerning their own affairs, the following decision was taken concerning the proposal that those who remain true to our friendship should be given the facilities to conduct their own affairs that our praetor slash governor Quintus Manius should delegate five members of the Senate who seemed to him appropriate in the light of their public actions and individual good faith. The following excerpt, the beginning of the Gospel of John, is rendered in a reconstructed pronunciation representing a progressive popular variety of koina copyright in the early Christian era. Modernizing features include the loss of vowel length distinction, monophthongization, transition to stress accent, and raising of I to slash I slash. Also seen here are the bilabial fricative pronunciation of diphthongs I plus or minus I, and I I, loss of initial slash H slash, fricative values for I superscript 2 and I superscript 3 and partial post-nasal voicing of voiceless stops. A one fourth I one half A one fourth Euro I I A A one fourth I one half A one half I I O E I superscript three I I I degree I plus or minus A one half A one half I I O E I superscript three I I A one fourth I one half I Euro I A one half I I A one half I one half I I I O E I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I I A one half I A one fourth I one half A one half I I O E I superscript three I I I A one half I I I A one fourth I one half A one fourth I one half A one fourth Euro I I A I Euro I A one half I I A one half I one half I I I O E I one half I euro I I one half I I plus or minus I I superscript one A three fourth one half I plus or minus A one half I I A A one fourth I superscript three I I one half I I I I degree I plus or minus A one half I I per thousand I A one half I I plus or minus A one half I I A A one fourth I superscript three I I one half I I I I A one half I A one half superscript two A one fourth I one half A one half I superscript three I I superscript three I I one half I I one half a one fourth I one half I plus or minus A one half I A I I per thousand A one half A one fourth I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth I I per thousand A one half A one fourth I one half I A one half I A I I A I one half A one fourth Euro I one half I I Euro I per thousand I one half I degree I plus or minus A one half I A one half I A I A one fourth I one half I A degree I I I A three fourth superscript three I I plus or minus I I one half I I superscript one 
I degree I plus or minus A one half A one fourth degree I I I I plus or minus I plus or minus A one half I A one half I A one half I degree I plus or minus I I I I plus or minus I superscript two I I one half T E degree E E O K T E degree E E O S and O E L U pound O S E U dos and N R K degree I pros to T E degree E E O E panda d a e e 2 e e genito, k k degree o e r i s a e e 2 e e genito u d n o e z pound 1 n n a e e to zoe i n, k i zoe i n to p e degree o s ton a n t e degree ro pon, k to p e degree o s n disco t a e p e degree e n i, k i sco t i a e to u k tal a superscript 2 n, in the beginning was the word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Proto-Greek Mycenaean Ancient Koine Medieval Modern